Here's a question I would like to address. I've been uh, getting a lot of emails probably over the past year, people asking me for advice on building stairways that are going to be unsafe. And um, there are reasons why we have building codes and there are reasons why in some cases you won't be able to build a set of stairs there. The, the, the design isn't going to allow you to build the stairs. A lot of thought needs to go into a set of stairs or a new house. I mean, I had one sent to me recently where someone was going to build a set of stairway a set of stairs over a bathroom and it was like how are you going to get into the bathroom and this how are you going to use the bathroom and uh, it looks fine on a piece of paper if you're looking at it flat but you build it and you got a problem so let's go ahead and get started and see if I can't uh, help you out here with providing you with the limitations for most building departments and again you would need to check with your local building department the measurements that I'm providing you with are from a book that um, some building departments use and others don't. So the total rise maximum is seven and three quarters. When I was installing stairs years ago, it was eight inches, eight inches maximum. You could not have a riser taller than this. This is going to provide you with your first limitation. Seven and three quarters is maximum rise on a residential stairway. On a public stairway, it might be seven inches. The tread width is going to be 10 inches minimum. This isn't a maximum now. This is a minimum. And the minimum width on a stairway is going to be three foot. If you're going to be on a public stairway or maybe in a commercial building, it might be 44 inches. I'm focusing on a residential, residential construction here. And again, these measurements might not be uh, the same as the ones I'm providing you with by your local building department. Now the steps are simply going to be part of the stairs that are going to be uniform, the same on every single um, st every single tread and riser. Here's a good example of a stairway that is the minimum length and the maximum height. It has 12 steps and 13 risers. And if we divide 13 into this, we're going to get seven and three quarters for each riser, which is our maximum. And this right here, we would have 12 steps at 10 inches. And that would be our minimum. So this is the minimum length, maximum height. This type of stairway could not be used on a floor that was going to be an inch taller or a stairway that was going to be an inch smaller in length. It's going to create problems for our for the building codes that we're working with. So I hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, then it's time for some more math. So here goes 10 inches. Each step is 10 inches here. And if we were only going to have a four step stairway, we would need 40 inches or three foot four. If we had 39 inches, then we would have a problem. Let's take a set of stairs that's a little longer. Six steps is going to be 60 inches or five feet. We cannot, and I repeat, we cannot put a five step stairway in a residential building that's going to be less than five feet long. And again, these are the the um, questions I keep getting sent to me over and over again. Somebody wants me to help them design a stairway. How do I do it? You can't do it. You can build whatever stairs you want. They're just not going to meet local building codes, which of course, if they don't meet local building codes and someone falls on your stairway, someone trips because your stair treads are too small and your risers are too high or just one of those. You have risers that are too high, but your tread's fine. Or you have a tread that's too small, but your riser's fine. You could be in for a heck of a lawsuit. And this is what I'm trying to help you out here. Pay attention. Building codes are there for a reason. And if they make sense, and these make sense to me, I have built stairways with small steps and they are dangerous. 
Here's an example of a stairway that would not meet local building codes if they were 10 inch minimum steps. And of course we can see that they have seven and three quarter inch risers. Here's an example of the risers, eight and a quarter inches that uh, would not make your local building inspector happy. Now the last part of the video, I went ahead and put eight and a quarter and eight and a half inch, um, eight and a quarter inch riser, eight and a half inch steps, because this is actually what inspired me to make the video. It's actually a question that was sent to me. And of course the individual was going to build the set of stairs anyway. It was going to be fine. And, uh, Something like this, if you do build something like this, make sure that you have a handrail on both sides that is a grippable handrail and make sure that it is securely fastened to the wall so that when somebody does fall, and trust me, on a stairway like this, you might not fall walking up, but this is going to be an extremely difficult stairway to walk down. And uh, that's when, of course, we, uh, that's when we run into our, um, awakening. Hey, wait a minute. But at least if you have two handrails, one on each side, you're going to have something to hold on to. Now, would this make sense for an attic? You know, hey, I'm going to I'm going to store stuff up there. So this means you're going to be carrying stuff with both hands up there so that you can store it. Uh, now you're going to create even a bigger safety hazard. So anyway, I hope this helps um, some of you out there who are having a difficult time figuring out how to fit smaller stairs into smaller spaces. I'm telling you, if it cannot be done, don't do it.